buccal fat removal. Oh, yeah. Remember people were tweeting about that last week? Yeah, why? Because Amelia Gray Hamlin started looking suspiciously like my favorite e-girl Gabrielle, Mm -hmm. who's really hot and sexy and does those cooking videos that nobody really cares about. They're all there to like gaze upon her like nubile skin or whatever. (laughs) And her like cabaret eyebrows. Do you think she's had buckle fat removal, Gabrielle? No, no, I think she's all natural. I love Gabrielle because if you look at old pictures of her, she had a glow up. She was a little bit heavier and more awkward. And then now she's a total stunner. So you can relate. Yeah. Anyway, buccal fat removal. I was thinking about how funny it is that we, one of our talking points is how like fat shaming isn't real. And Uh how, you know, fat phobia isn't real. But then people literally call you lasagna Anna. Yeah. (laughs) People are vicious out there. Yeah, I think lasagna Anna is, lasagna is it's, cute. it's cute and it's innocent. Cute. It's pretty it's harmless cute. as far as I uh, love lasagna Anna. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mind that one. And it was like a wholesome, sweet little pick. I was cooking Mike Peppy a lasagna <laughs> for his birthday that he actually really liked. I heard you make great lasagna. I do. I do. You know what the secret ingredient is? You is sugar. sugar? Sugar. Yeah. We're going to be saying the same stuff on this podcast. Yeah, for forever here. as we get older and more Didion-esque and wretched. Welcome to our narcissistic much, disturbance. <laughs> much like Didion, like our arms get thinner and we become more and more racist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the blacks, they uh, ruin the water supply. We, <laughs> we can dream. Yeah, so I think buccal fat removal is a huge mistake, obviously. I don't think you, anyone should be taking the fat out of their face i think it's fake news why like the the can had it done well she kind of needs it no offense that's the thing people don't get about me they think that i'm like anti-plastic surgery at all costs but i'm actually like pro plastic surgery when people need it it's just like doctors are very like trigger happy when it comes to it because they're just trying to make a buck i get it but chrissy teigen but who called her a human whoopee cushion (laughs) I don't know. Someone else called her a blowfish. Yeah, but she has had so much work done. Yeah. That now it it makes no difference really if she gets the buccal fat removal because she's already looked so overworked for so long. And part of the reason I think she even needed it is because her face was so weighed down by all the filler and stuff that she's had. True. Whereas if you never... I think you can... And most women ought to age gracefully yeah. with, you know, their natural face. And I think... Just embrace their natural hideousness. Yeah, but I think a lot of the celebs who we speculate about having buccal fat removal mm-hmm. either did get it, didn't need to because they're like in their 20s mm-hmm. and would have lost that weight anyway. Right. Or like I was like looking at lists of actresses that people thought had it done and a lot of them were just older and I was like... No, they just, you just lose volume and fat in your face as you get older. You get a natural buckle fat removal just by aging. Yeah, it's one of the few perks of aging. Yeah. Is that you get a more chiseled and gaunt look as you age. Like the best example is Jennifer Connelly, who, when she was a 15 year old Dario Argento starlet, was known for her pleasantly plump. Mm -hmm. face. And then as she's aged, she's gotten very like sculptural angular and yeah. angular yeah, yeah that's the word i'm looking for i think she looks good i, I saw one of those right wing guys bashing her on twitter for looking old and haggard and i was like first of all she's like 50 something she looks great for her age and she doesn't seem to have jennifer garner Connolly. oh Connolly. yes of course she's 50 yeah i worked with her she looks great for 50 she's unbelievably beautiful like, yeah like what are you person, talking about she's lum- she looks like the virgin mary she's like luminous and her face is like truly jennifer Connolly's one of the most beautiful women i've ever been around period it's just like i i don't know what men want you're <laughs> damned if you do and you're damned if you don't you know if you like get work done want. and look like a want, human then. whoopee cushion they drag you for being like vain and materialistic. And if you age gracefully without getting any work done or doing minimal work, they drag you for being like a haggard old crone mm-hmm. when you look like literally an above average 50 year old woman. Yeah. I'm like speaking for myself. I'm like, I look really, really good for 50. 
not a day over 55 over 50 we look <laughs> amazing okay they don't know what they want either though they have, yeah they i mean nobody no does they have no idea what women are even really like but i think i <laughs> i kind of feel like the buccal fat removal is probably not as prevalent as people think it is Oh, I'm sure like the Bella Hadids and Amelia Gray Hamlins of the world do get it done because mm-hmm. they have almost infinite resources and can go to the top people. I just think it's very, un- in most cases, it's so unnecessary. Yeah. And you should want to be preserving like a youthful, you want the buckle fat, I think. Yeah, I think it's only necessary if you look like one of those like Mongolian palace cats naturally. Exactly. Like some people do. But I, I think- mean, again, it's like the rhinoplasty thing. Some people really have very unfortunate noses. It's true. And benefit from it. But my issue Sometimes- is the, the plastic surgeons, especially the Turkish ones, go all out and they give people the tiny Mindy noses that don't suit the proportions yeah. of like a typical Middle Eastern face. Mm-hmm. It's just about moderation and discretion. So true. Otherwise, I'm all for it. Like, if you can afford it, knock yourself out. Just, I'd get some work done. Just like you should get like really insane Google fat <laughs> removal, even though you don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would definitely not do that for sure. I think I you get, should like, just like wait until you're 50 and. Get like a facelift, fair and square. Kate Moss just got a facelift. Wait, really? And Does she the- need one? One of the Kate Moss fan accounts I follow was like, thank God she finally got it. <laughs> Wait, I-, I wanted to talk to you about the Kate Moss for Mark Jacobs campaign. The which new one, one where she has pink hair, which I hate so much. It like cheapens her whole legacy because she looks like... She did it before, I think. No neck ass Madonna. I saw it on the sub, so I'm assuming it's new, but maybe it's not. Yeah. She looks kind of facelifty in it. Hmm. I just assumed it was overly heavy handed retouching, but maybe it's just the facelift. Yeah, she got a facelift. I oh, like Kate Moss because no. she's led a hard life and it shows. True. I like her too. I mean, I obviously I love her. And her facelift looks gr- looks mm, good. Let's see. I mean, once again, it's the kind of thing where like if she didn't have other superfluous work done, a yeah. tasteful facelift can go a really yeah, long yeah. way. But once you already have overfilling or like the brain, yeah, yeah, it's, it be, there is just it reaches a tipping point. My Depop yeah. Avi is Kate Moss in the ocean wearing like a green sequin maxi dress holding like oh, a I glass love, of wine and I a love cigarette. That you know why we love her? This because she's like boring. America's Ala Pugachova. She's like a drunk and rowdy ass diva. <laughs> I guess she's Brit- England's she's Ala British, Pugachova, but she's yeah. effectively America. She's we a global can, phenom. We can have her. Yeah. yeah. She's not as talented as Ala Pugachova, but. She's talented at modeling. She's the best model of all time. She's, she's literally the best model of all time. My mom was always like, Katya Moss, she looks like a school teacher from Smolensk. And it's true. It's true. She looks very Russian. That's another reason why we like her. Because she, she has this Slavic but features. She has a singular kind of yeah. transcendent beauty. I yeah, the camera loves her. There's nothing like a beautiful picture of Kate Moss. That's true. Um, I saw Bab tweeting earlier about how women can never, women, female bodies can never be aesthetic. And I get what he's saying, but I'm like, Kate hey, Moss, though. Because they're not like Greek like guys. They're not like the Kurai or Riachi bronzes. <laughs> it's literally gay to find women's bodies aesthetic. If you like Letitia Costa, you're gay. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Another great body. Mm-hmm. Kind like of the that. opposite of the spectrum as far as models go. But well. it really takes all kinds. Nowadays, there's a they've there's wide, two, they've there, widened the spectrum, yeah. if you know what I mean. But they've shifted, but the, yeah, the over, but yeah, ton cur- window I'm to not, overweight. I'm not fat phobic. Mm-hmm. Letitia Costas, I think she's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I think a woman could be as big as Letitia Costa or all as Kate Moss. And as long as your body's within that and healthy, normal range. You should wait until you're 50 and you've reached the point of no return. Just get a facelift. Mm -hmm. And maybe minimal work until then. Mm -hmm. That's a a great reason for for women to seek financial independence. 
men would pay so, for so you your... can get work done in the future men will, men pay, will pay for, pay for your... titties but will they pay for a facelift they will yeah okay i mean if you are if you have a rich husband he would why wouldn't he eli told me he'd pay for me to get my tits done after they were fully desiccated from Breastfeeding. multiple children <laughs> That's sweet. It's nice. Yeah. That's, that's really R- romantic. Nice. That's nice of him. Yeah. I don't think about that. Yeah. They'll take always, the Birkenstock slippers in the meantime. You could always say it's a preventative mastectomy yeah. that yeah. you had to do. I had the BRAC gene because I'm just like Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Just adopting a bunch of like Vietnamese and African children and being like, so am I getting getting my, my new pair now? And he's like, <laughs> The clause was that they were natural biological children. 